Hey there, it's Karen Bonanno here from Australia joining you for the summit. What I'm going to do is share with you five easy, simple ways that you can be a smarter thinker. Now, what I'm wanting you to do is, if you can, uh, grab uh, some pen and paper so that you're going to be able to work with me on this. Because what I'm going to get you to do is when you get your pen and paper, I want you to put your hand on that sheet of paper and draw something like this if the camera gets in focus. No, it looks like it's having trouble getting in focus there. But if you can do that just on a sheet of paper, put your hand down and then draw around your hand so that you're ready to go for these easy, simple ways to be a smart thinker. First of all, I want you to note that there are different questions that we have attached to the digits on our hand. And this helps us to be a smarter thinker because the questions are what we call open questions, which means you get a better answer, not just a yes, no. So you might've heard people talk about fat and skinny questions. Well, these are the fat questions. So the very first one is why. Now, the reason why I've got that attached to the thumb is because with your thumb, if you didn't have your thumb, you would have trouble hanging on to things or picking up things or holding a pen to write. So the thumb is really important, and that's why the why question is the most crucial question you can ask, particularly when you're setting goals or you're setting some big vision that you're aiming for, because you need to have a big reason why you're going to be doing something. So then the next question is with our pointer finger, and there's always someone telling you what to do. So this is your what question. So you're going to have why, and then you're going to have what, and then you're going to have with the tall person is your who. So this is all about either you or it's about the people that you're interacting with. So the who question is really crucial. And then there is the when and the where questions. So they're attached to what we call the ring finger because it's always important to think about when you're in, engaging with others or when you're doing something and where you're doing it. And it's all about the relationships as well that you develop with people through that process. And then the last one is the how. So this is the little finger and it's always the little things that we might forget because it's all around the how, the process and the logic. So the questions that we ask, which are going to make us a smarter thinker in all situations, doesn't matter what you're doing, whether it be relation to schoolwork that you're doing or a research assignment or university studies or maybe even planning just a, a birthday party or a family holiday, these five W and how questions will absolutely blow your mind when you work those through to get really great answers, smart answers. So we've got our why question, our what question, our who question, our when and where, and also our how with our little finger. Now, an extra layer to this is that all of these are, in a way, you can make the questions attached to the way that your brain is working. Because that, of course, is how you can be a smarter thinker, is making sure that your every nerve and brain cell is connecting and working for you. So we're going to start here with our uh, pointer finger, which is our what question. And what questions are often associated with our frontal cortex of our brain? Because that's our thinking brain. That's where we are most creative with our frontal cortex. And the what question helps us to be creative by asking those that question. Then we have our who question. And that's with our right side of our brain, because that's related to coming up with brainstorming and different ideas and different ways to do things. And so this, again, is attached to that creativity. Then we have our when and our where question, and that's attached to the limbic brain because this is where we're attached to those uh, sensory aspects and those emotions and those feelings. And then we have our how, which is attached to the left side of our brain, because how is all about how you do things. It's the logical way that you do things. So if you start to then work all those questions, the big connector is the why, because when with your brain, you have this bridge that connects your, both your hemispheres of your brain, your left and your right brain, but also all the synaptic energy that goes on to get you thinking and get you being creative in what you're doing. So all of our questions of our why, our what, our who, our when, where and how are also linked to the way that our brain works. And that's why if you can use all of those, you'll be smarter in your thinking. 
And you'll also ask smarter questions, which means you get quality answers. So what I'm wanting you to do is to make sure you put that hand up somewhere where you can um, revise and review and be reminded of the questions. But I want to also bring in something else, that what we do is we uh, talk about genius smarts uh, when we're in our programs with Genius School that I'm also involved in as an educator. And our genius smarts are also connected up with all of those questions, connected up with our brain, but also helps us to work out, well, what happens at all of those stages? So with our what question, that's what we call ideas smart. So someone who's ideas smart is always asking that question. What can we do? What's going to happen here? What, what is all the questions that they ask most of the time? Because they're coming up with the different ideas and the different creative ways of doing things. And if we think about some people around the world who are that kind of innovative, intuitive, imaginative person, we can think of people like Richard Branson and Jeff Bezos, who recently went up into space and they were innovative in what they were doing. So they came up with the what question of getting into space. And then we come around to our who question, and that's our people smart. So it's attached to the people that we connect with, the people we have conversations with, the people we have discussions with. So it's the who. Who are we connecting with? Who are we hanging out, hanging out with? Who are we having conversations with? Who are the people in our life who are important? So that's all the who questions. So that's the people smart. And then our uh, ring finger is the when and the where. And it's all about senses because it's attached to our sensory part of our brain. But it also brings in our multi-senses. So what we do there is we're using all of our senses to look at all the things around us, to know when is the best time to do something and where should it take place. And it's all about timing. So that's our when and our where and our senses smart. And then our little finger is all about detail smart. It's making sure that we have everything ticked off, that we've got a process, that we've got a logical way of doing things, that we've got procedures. We may even have systems in place that help us to do things smarter. So we've got all different things just purely by remembering our five digits can be attached to our why, our what, our who, our when, where and how, but also attached to our frontal cortex, our right brain, our um, sensory brain, our sensory limbic brain, and also our left brain. And then the bridge that connects it all together is this important part. Now, another thing that you can do is always remember your why is a, is a key question. So when you're asking the what question, you can blink your fingers and go, what is a goal that you want to achieve? What is the difference you want to make? And then why is it important for you to be making that difference or that change or that achievement? And then our who, why? Why is it important for you to connect with these people? So who are you going to connect with? Who's going to help you to achieve this? Who's going to be involved? Who's going to be in your tribe and your community? And why are these people important? So linking your why question. And then our when and our where is when should it happen, but why should it happen at that time and not any other time? Where should it happen? Why is that important for the place that that will take, that event will take place, or you, you will have that achievement, or you'll experience that success? And then the how is why are those steps really important? Why are they going to be the best procedures or the best systems or the best way for you to do things? So your why question is really, really important because it sets you up on purpose. It helps you to make an impact. It helps you to experience the success that you want. And so why is really um, a key question that you want to ask yourself. And even if you're involved in doing your schoolwork or your research or anything else, don't wait for other people to tell you why it's important. Use your own inner self to be setting your own sort of hairy audacious goals or your own visions and you create your reason why you want to do something. So remember, uh, put that hand drawing up. Remember these uh, five W's and how because they are amazing questions that you can ask so that you can get better answers, so that you can make better decisions and you can be more informed for where you are taking your future. So I thank you for spending time for me. And remember the easy ways 
remember your five W's and how for your future success. So I'm Karen from Australia, and uh, I'm the founder and co-creator for KB Enterprises and an educator with the Genius School. Best of luck for your future and your success.